Uh, yeah, I've got to leave soon, but I just wanted to say that, um, as I said to the Chief Executive in the meeting last Monday night when he came to the Bernardi Centre and it was a two hour, 15 minute meeting, so we got our money's worth out of the Chief Executive and some of the officials at least for a wee while, uh, to no purpose. And, and I was really disappointed because that was the very day that the Community Empowerment Act came into force last Monday, so the eve of this big meeting, and they just ignored everything that we said. Every single thing was ignored. Uh, or not quite ignored because in fact the, it was pointed out that the document that would go before those sitting who would have the vote at the executive committee meeting, that that document uh, contained inaccuracies. He didn't agree with that, so we agreed that it wasn't a complete picture. I think that was the, the wording that we managed to agree on. And I had understood, after much questioning, that he would take that away and he would ensure that an official, before that meeting started, at least presented the fact that there were other bits of information that were of relevance that should be considered by those who had the vote over what happened in your part of the world. And that seems not to have happened. That is absolutely disgraceful. The way that Fife Council, and in this situation, and it has to be said, uh, some elected members have treated this community is absolutely appalling. And I do agree with Willie and others that we have to go forward, but I think the way you go forward is you have to go forward as a community because that's where your strength lies. You're the most fantastic community. You have to go forward. But, um, you know, and think big. Why not think big? Because five council are not, you can't, five council cannot be trusted with this hugely important asset. They can't be trusted with it. So I think, you know, you should start to look at what you could do, what might be possible in the short, medium, and longer term because you have seen the way that they have let you down. They have let this community down, absolutely. And it is really, really. Uh, I mean, we hear about this all the time and that people get fed up with politics and we're all the same and it doesn't matter. Well, you know what? The very cynical approach of Fife Council, with the complicity of the administration, in my view, uh, the current administration, uh, that has led to the situation where whatever you have said, be it 20 voters here who said one thing or, you know, 170 people here who said something different. You know what? It was all just ignored. It was completely ignored with weasel words and I don't think it's good enough. So, you also have another opportunity made to make your views known in whatever way you wish to do that. But you shouldn't be asking all these people who will come seeking your vote in May, what are you going to do for the media? So that's what I would ask if I was going to do. Can we just tease out Willie's point, please? It, 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 Willie made the point. If there was an inquiry, and the inquiry came to the view that uh, some of the things that you've said and some of the things that Willie has said, in fact, some of the things that Alex has said, proved to be valid. <coughs> Does that render the decision um, suspect? It's, it's, well, there, it's kind of, there's two decisions, really. There's the planning decision. Planning is subject to its own very regulated legal processes, and that's one issue. The wider decision about the money and you know, other related uh, issues that were the decision that was taken by the executive committee last week. That, that, there may be some, some room for maneuver there, but there would have to be political will. I've not seen on the part of Labour-led Five Council any political will at all mm -hmm. to listen really to the views of this community. Mm -hmm. But on the issue of the decision taken, more political decision, that at least is not subject to the wider planning difficulties. So there might be some room there, but there would need to be political will on the part of the, the administration. And, and the decision that was taken was a decision to do what? To agree something? Uh, to agree the investment at the two projects should go ahead as one, uh, and that the investment at 1.8 million for the two, or whatever the figure finally was, uh, and that was the decision taken at the executive committee uh, last week. The planning, actual planning approval was at a different decision. Uh, and, uh, and, and that, that was taken, uh, actually, in amongst the meetings that you had. Uh, that was taken, yeah. notwithstanding the meetings that you had. Uh, but, following that point through then, the people here clearly feel just as strongly as they ever did. So is that voice now lost or can that decision be appealed? If, if, if as you say, there's going to be another council perhaps, is that new council in a position to review this decision or not? Um, I think that wouldn't be an easy thing to do. I don't know maybe council deputy who's Okay, so we might have other views to add here. I think that would be a difficult thing to do. I think if you could show that there was something fundamentally wrong with the decision, that it was based on complete, a complete misapprehension, I think maybe you could argue, uh, at least or try to argue, but I think it would be very, very difficult um, because it was a decision 
ostensibly taken by the elected representatives of the people. So I mean, I know it's 